So, so a little while ago, we did a review for a pillow, and it was like a Kickstarter pillow. And I was like, oh, I love new pillows because I find it so hard. You know, you go to a store and you look at a pillow and you're like, hmm. And I'll say this, right? Uh, pillows are very personal. Both my daughter, my wife, and I all use different pillows because we all just like how different pillows feel, right? I don't think that's straight. Maybe, maybe there, maybe. Somewhere like that, maybe. Whatever. Um, so, anyways, uh, long story short, the last pillow we did, cool, but for those of us that were not like back sleepers and you slept on your side or you're like me and you're toss and turn all over the place, so you're, you're, you're on your back, you're on your side, you're on your tummy, it wasn't a great pillow. Uh, but, but, Someone sent me, someone, actually pull it, pull a tree, pull, pull a tree, I guess, uh, contour memory phone cervical pillow. They sent this to me and they said this is great for those that either sleep on their sides or sleep on their tummies because um, of the way it's shaped. You can see it here, you can put your, kind of get your arms in there so that it's in the right position, not, you know, having to tuck them around or, or whatever. So we're going to take a look at the pillow. Right, take a look at the pillow. And then uh, I'm gonna sleep with it tonight. It's gonna be my, my pillow of choice. And in the morning I'll be like, did I sleep good or did I not? And again, don't let my decision of how this pillow felt or how I slept be the be all end all for you, right? Again, pillows are personal. So I may love it or I may not, and you may love it or you may not. But I'll give you an idea of what I at least thought of it. and. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, so you can try it, and if you don't like it, then send it back, right? Okay, so this is it. Pull a tree, contour, memory, phone, cervical. Give your body the comfort it deserves. My body deserves comfort. It is uh, not doing overly well, and I have to leave soon because I have a chiropractor appointment. Anyways, multiple sleeping positions, ergonomic design, premium material. All the stuff you want, stuffs you want in a pillow, and this side, um, it's the same. It's the same goodness. Okay, I, uh, I'm down. I'm down. My, my, I use a. I don't know it's a memory foam pillow. My wife uses a pillow that's it's a water pillow, so it's you fill it with water, so that you can adjust how how it how it how full it is, I guess, or how firm it is. Um, she loves it. For me, uh, I find it too thick. But hey, to, to each their own, right? To each their own. This one, though, already I'm liking it better than the one we did before because I want a pillow to be a pillow. I don't want it to be some kind of weird, necessarily technical wonder. You know? Ooh, look at that. It just kind of whomp. So my guess is, this is my this is my guess. My guess is this is the side. This is the see see how it do you guys see it, right? This is your pillow, it expands. You gotta it's it's very where am I here? It's very like perfectly flat. Um, as you could lay on it neck this way or neck this way, it really doesn't matter. Throw that throw that over here. And when you're got it down here, you can stick your arms in here so when you're when you're sleeping, you got a arm spot. Hmm. Right? Hmm. Oh, you can see the top of my head. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna we're gonna give it a try tonight. We're gonna give it a try tonight. See what we think. I don't think there's a top or a bottom. I'm I don't I have no idea. Support? Yep. Well, we'll see. We'll we'll hop in the bed tonight. Give it a give it a rest. Give it a try. Because I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, so, uh, the next day, the following day. Um, and, and I used this, I used this last night. Yeah. This, this fine fella right here. And, um, I'm going to say I like it. I like it, but I think it's one of those pillows or something that you need to get used to. And I think 
like if you are, like I'm experiencing some neck pain now, and I think it's because again of the uh, three days of riding, you know, that extra helmet on there, and you're constantly like, constantly in this position, you're cold and you're stressful, and you're just, oh, so sore. So this pillow here, one of the things I really like, and you guys can see it, right? Is that it has this dip in here it's got a dip in here it's got a dip in here so it really when you get your when you get your head on it and your your necks on on top of this area here and your head is in here it really kind of forces it there right it kind of says no that's what you're gonna this, that's where you're gonna stay so unlike a like a traditional pillow where you know you bunch it up and you, you I usually bunch my pillow up at, when I start sleeping just to kind of get it under my neck. But I definitely don't wake up that way. And, you know, you I got it all curled. My hands are all... Uh, I wake up in a weird position and everything's all sore. And This didn't do that, right? So this, this I like because of the fact that if you were sleeping on your back, which is what I normally sleep on, um then it does it just keeps your head in that position and it does have really nice like it's got really nice neck support in here right and you will see there's almost like these little ridges in it so there's little like almost like pressure points on there which again i thought was really nice um if you're a person that likes to sleep with your arms back like this this i don't know kind of useful i guess but I, I i found that my arms were out too far that it really didn't matter um when you sleep on your side, or if you're a tummy sleeper, a few things, you usually have your head on the sides like this, or if you sleep on the side, or if for whatever reason you have your face down. A um, few things I like, there's this little, you gotta see here, there's a little, like a really big indent here. And if you are sleeping on your side, which I did for a bit, um, your ear kind of gets right in here, which is nice, because it kind of just, unless you have really large ears, I guess, but it takes that pressure off of you laying on your ear all the time because your ear kind of sits right in this spot. So you lose all that pressure on this part of you. And again, you get that nice, that nice neck support that's there. And I was trying to sleep and I would be laying this way and I'd be like, how do I put my arm in here? But it's not for this arm, it's for this arm. So you'd be laying and you'd be able to put your arm in here. And I was like, oh, that's nice. That's, that's actually really nice. Um, and if you are a tummy sleeper, same thing. If you really felt like it, if you were trying to stretch, stretch your neck out or whatever, you could put your face straight down. Not that you would do that because of breathing. But um, your nose goes here, or again, your ear goes right in here, which again, really nice. It again keeps your head in the center of this pillow. It's just designed to be like, no, your head stays here. So, you know, if you want to roll around, it doesn't, it does, it's not that it doesn't let you, but it makes it a little more difficult and it keeps your neck and head kind of in that position. And when you're sleeping, you're down here and you can kind of just curl up your, your arms and just kind of lay them in here. Now, I think it will depend on how long your arms are and stuff like that. Uh, so just kind of be aware. And th this is the other thing, I guess, like for me, I usually sleep and my arms kind of go way down under like here when I sleep um, because again my pillow is up against the headboard so if your arms are like tucked in here you, 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 you have to have your pillow down from your headboard a little bit is what I've kind of found unless you kind of have them up here which you could right here's not too bad if you're there but I guess it really depends on like your torso length and your arm length and things like that just to make sure everything sits well but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to say, as a pillow that is out of the norm, you know, out of the norm, I think it's kind of cool. Um, will I be switching to this pillow? I think I would switch to this pillow when my neck is sore. I still like my other pillow. Like, it's, it's a good pillow, and I, I've been very pleased with it. But I think nights that I know my neck is not really doing good, I may switch to this one just because you get that that extra support on your neck you you get your neck to kind of in your head to stay in the proper position that it should be you know instead of you i wake up like this half the time you know you're you're sleeping and you're like oh. and i and i and i that can't be good that can't be good this is going to make it so that that doesn't happen right so one of the things too to remember is if you do buy 
a pillow like this or this pillow, I'll put again links down below. Um, I think give it give it a good week or so because it's like anything that's new, right? If you're when you're trying to sleep, the first night you might be like, nope, and the second night you might be like, oh, that's a bit better, and by the end of the week you might be like, oh yeah, no, I, 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 that's good. Or after a week, you may be like, still no. It's again, it's so personal, right? Um, it's like it's like when you travel and and you stay at like different hotels all the night. It's hard to get a good sleep for a lot of us because we're in a new bed, and that means we have to kind of customize or customize ourselves to that that new new mattress. Same thing's going to happen, I think, with a pillow. So just give yourself some time to be able to. Um, see if it actually is something that works for you. But I think someone that has some neck issues or like shoulder issues or, you know, things like that, this this may be this may be a good option. But try it out, see what you think. Uh, if you do get a chance to try it out, leave comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think of it. And uh, I, I think I think it's actually pretty pretty good as far as a non traditional kind of pillow. Alright guys, links down below if you're interested. Uh, and that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and we'll see you guys next video. Later.